What's the deal, y'all? I'm y'all. I'm coming to y'all with another banger video, as always, y'all. And right now, it's like 8 in the morning. It's early just because we got some stuff to do. Today is the day that the Betty changed up a lot of bit. Okay, if that makes sense, a lot of it. Not a lot, not a little, but a lot of it. Do that make sense? But first, while we're up so early, we got to get this situated. That looks like bad. I'm driving on that all the way to the tire shop just because it got to be flat when they take it off anyway. And that's like really annoying. So we got to go get that fixed. I don't know what it could be, but I'm tired of... Tired, 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 blah, 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 blah. I'm tired of having these tire issues. And then we're heading up to next gen speed to get all the aero stuff put on. Not just any aero stuff, but we are doing full ZR1. So I'm excited, y'all. I'm about to get in the car. My mom on the my mom on the call, so we can't really do a cold start. We're gonna have to keep it quiet. See? One, two, one PSI in the tire, but we have to start it up in tour mode. Just cause you know my mom up there working, but one PSI in the tire, dude. I wanna be whoa, 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 just for even though this is unreleased, you still might have to have a copyright. You gotta relax. You gotta relax. Skip it. We gone there on one PSI, dude. I'm not going cap. Made it on my freaking one PSI Uncle Sam's tires, man. Freaking the vet up here this time. This is like my first time being up here when it's not raining. Y'all see where I'm at, man. They are about to get me right get this back right tire fixed up and about to get it all right and everything and it's gonna be all good good and hood why does a corvette look so sweet on the jack the room is fixed once again y'all so they re extra done dot did it type beat man if you know what i'm saying so it should be all gucci and gucci I'ma hit, I'ma hit it for you. <laughs> Where I'm at, man, Uncle Sam's tires. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, they look out for you stuff. Shout out to Uncle Sam's tires for getting me right, y'all. Now, I'm a little late for next year's I'm supposed to be there at 11, it's 10 56, but. They had to make sure that the rim was right. So I'm heading up the next SP right now to see my stuff because it's up there. Dang, the radar going crazy. Ain't nothing going on, ain't nothing going on. Shout out to Uncle Sam's Tires, man. They are on Michigan Ave and Inkster. Make sure when you go up there, say I sent you. They fix everything. They have everything. They even got tires. You can need tires and all that stuff too. Radar, be quiet. I know you're good, but still. But anyways, y'all, I'm at the bank. So I can get this money out and then we can go get this at next gen speed. Look at Tino new rap on his C8 though. Sheesh, you like that. But we are pulling up the next gen speed right now, Saint Squad. Man, you know what I'm saying? We gotta make it a little bit while we come back. Only thing is, you hear a whole bunch of rap. You like that? How you feeling today? You feeling yeah, man, good? How are you? You ready to work on this fast Chevy? I guess so. We just pulled up the next gen speed van, so the vet about to get a little transformation type beat. So what we got going on? We got the tail lights right here. So these are the Lambo tail lights, man. These boys look hard. So replace those. That's why when I was at MC Whips, I didn't get them tinted because we got the new tail lights right here. I'm, I'm excited for those. A big ZR1 wing is well coming. And then the splitter too. Woo. So this is the wing right here and then the front splitter. Bro, I'm excited. Like, this thing is about to live hard, dude. Uh, and then we'll get a watch afterwards because, I don't, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna rain anymore. So we got ZR1 front splitter. I'm talking the big one that come out to like right here, dude. We got the big one with the fin that go up. I don't, you know, I'm gonna just keep my side skirts for now. But if you guys think I should change them after, comment down below and let me know. So keep the side skirts, but then we got the big ZR1 wing. Like the big one, not the little one, the big one. And then we have the Lambo tail lights and this thing. This thing is really gonna come together and it's gonna look crazy. We gotta we got take the bumper off, right? Yeah, well, I'm ready to come on. That's it. We might as well just, yeah. I mean, if you're just getting the tail lights, you can do that without the bumper. Yeah, but we go on big wing. We might as well just keep the bumper off, get some tube in and go race car. Oh yeah? <laughs> hey yo pal, you killed this shit. 
So this is what it looks like with the bumper off. Dude, what, what? Is this a fan? They have fans on the side. Yeah, and there's like a cooler over here. What the heck? See that? Mopar can never. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My bad for the Mopar slander. Yeah, but that's hard though. Now imagine we just keep the bumper off, put tail lights in there, fat chassis mounted wing. Stick out to like right here, Saint Squad. What y'all think? Hope y'all so we got the tail lights out of the bumper. Look at the bumper just sitting here. What I honestly think this looks sweet though with no bumper, y'all. Is it just me? Do y'all agree with me? But like I feel like this thing looks sweet with no bumper. We got the tail lights out. The new ones are in there. We'll do the unboxing, don't worry, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna come when you know what I'm saying, don't worry. But then, we trying to get this wing off, but they put like the glue on here along with the screw, so. Um... Garbage. Yeah. They have like thick bolts on it just to also put glue. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all, we are about to see the wing. Big wing, oh. big wing gang. Okay, y'all, so the wing is unboxed, and look how it looks. It's so shiny, everything. And I get a watch with this, but like they said, good news for me, bad news for them. This is actually, like, chassis mounted, okay? So it's not like how you put the wing on with the screws and stuff, but this, like, mounts to the chassis with, like, the brackets and everything. Like that, I'm chassis mounted boy. Sports car, real supercar. You know, people say this is American sports car. I say it's American supercar, man. You know what I'm saying? It drive like the Lambo. You can trust me because I, dr I drive Lamborghinis, dude. I drive her car. We got to do this, all this stuff. Look, I'm talking. We finna bend the frame. Orange title. We got to do all this stuff, get that. And then it's brackets. It's somewhere over here, but they hook the brackets hook up into in there and all that stuff. Real life chassis mounted. So the big wing I want to get turned out to be a chassis mounted wing. So is this all the framework we needed to do? That's the framework basically for the frame mounted wing. Mm -hmm. Next I gotta put like the bumper on. Oh yeah. And then mount the frame straight to this instead of to the bumper how the old one was. Mm -hmm. So it kind of bolts on these. Bro, same squad. I know y'all the wizards and can teleport through time and stuff, but this took like what, like an hour? Like two. Yeah, like two hours. Just like the cut cut pieces and all that stuff. We have to cut some. Well, Amir cut some and all that. And that framework look good. Yeah. This will happen when you go legit and you go chassis <laughs> mounted. This is not this is not cosmetics. This is real race car stuff. So you know what's next? You see how this sticks up? We gotta cut the bumper. <laughs> bumper is about to get cut. So hey, these basically go through it and then you put the spoiler part on there and then the wing attaches to these so it's like active air not i don't why did i just say active arrow this is not a mclaren this is a lamborghini the fuck out of here, motherfucker. it's coming along pretty good but we didn't think it was gonna be like all of this we thought it's like one of those regular like yeah, but, like a replica kind yeah of, uh, just bolts into where you were stock spoiler was. right it looks like it but it makes sense <laughs> big wing you know yeah get enough downforce down there, it'll probably just rip itself off your bumper. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, but it's coming along pretty good. But what do y'all think, man? Like, do y'all like this no bumper back look, dude? I'm gonna figure something out to like, do something like this. This is gonna be like a one of one with this, y'all. Don't you know what I'm saying? Just stay tuned for it. It's gonna be crazy, so. We gotta cut the bumper. Well, Amir's gonna cut the bumper and then, it's all coming together. That's like literally hey, all framework. Man. Here you are, we have the new tail lights, man, wrapped in some blue type of film. But I drive Lamborghinis and I drive Mentador too. Now that's hard. Yeah, that, yeah that, that boy is hard. So here goes some new tail lights right here. Oh, look, look at that. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Touch a Mustang? That That's hard though. So new so tail lights right there. You Wait, like that. I think that's your turn signal now. For real? Or, no, that's your reverse light. And then the turn signal is sequential. 
yeah. with these. Because this is the reverse light, so the original plug goes in here, mm -hmm. and then this, when we put this on after the bumper, it plugs into this one right here. Like that. Yeah, I drive Aventadors, bro. I don't drive Corvettes or nothing. Wow. Wait, wait till the wrap. We're going to trigger everyone. I'm slapping the Lamborghini sticker on there. These tail lights look hard, dude. I'm glad I did these. I almost didn't do them, but then I went back. I had to do these, and I'm glad I did. Look at that. So that's with the blinker on this stuff. We still putting that on, but we got the tail lights in while we put the bumper back on. Oh, yeah, now that's even better. Five. Yeah, that's hard. What y'all think, man? Comment down below and let me know, but that that's hard. I'm glad I did that. Now, putting the back bumper back on. So got the holes and everything right here. Now it's time, I want to say, put the wing on? Or am I speaking too soon? Uh, no, we're gonna put the wing on. Yay! Focus up a little bit real quick. <laughs> Both that up, put the wing on. Then it's gonna be Gucci and the Coochie. It looked like a Stingray with a wide body from the back when you drop that without the big wing on there. Huh? Huh? What'd you say? I said, we got the same engine. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> Well, we got these pieces in, so this is like the lift up type beat and then the wing go on there, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we get in there, y'all. We've literally been here all day. I got here at 11.30, it's five o'clock now. Literally been all day because we didn't know this was a chassis mounted wing type beat. We thought it was like one of those. You just screw in, screw in place and replace in the original one. <laughs> Marco. Huh? What? You know, we've been here all day. I know, I'm tired. You know, wow. We've been here since it was raining, the skies, and you know what I'm saying? It's dinner time. <laughs> Bye. We've been like, we, we thought it was like just a replacing, but literally it's chassis mounted, so you have to go in, tear apart the car, put it back together. This is crazy, y'all, but it, it's almost ready. Look at that. Y'all, this thing literally looks insane. Y'all, this thing literally looks so amazing. Like, it real life transformed the whole back end of it. And Tino, he hooking me up right now, getting the leathers off. So the people who don't know cars gonna think this is a Lamborghini with a different symbol on the back. <laughs> you like that. But, you can't speak, get what you need. No, cat. <laughs> I'm about to start saying that. Shout out to Next Gen Speed. Get what you need. Marco like that. That's he. I like that. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to get these letters off the back. So, then they'll just show the emblem, y'all. And then, it, it's not even finished yet. You know what I'm saying? It, it look hard right now, but that's only the back. It's not even finished yet. Uh, so, we got the words Corvette off for the people who probably see this thinking it look like a supercar. Because look at this back. It literally looks amazing. But this video isn't done yet. We're gonna go to the next day just because we still got more stuff to do. This might be like the most things I ever did, mods in one video, but it's a whole kit that go all together. So I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna catch y'all the next day in three. Oh, I already put the wrong fingers up. Did I go to high school? I don't know. Three, two, I'm keep doing it, Marco. What's wrong with me? Did I graduate eight years later or what? I don't know what's going on. Three, two, one. And we are back in the next day type beat, y'all. No cap. So look at this back, dude. Still looking amazing and aggressive, y'all. Look at the wing. You know what I'm saying? I got a curve. You see, y'all look at my legs. Y'all see how skinny I am. I'm sit back there. So just stay tuned to my Instagram, man. This, this is a dinner plate. You like that? Yeah. So we are about to put on the front splitter right now. So this thing right here, whatever... I guess this looks like some GM stuff. So that ugly little thing is gonna come off and the sweet one is gonna be put on. And then this boy really gonna be hard, but I'm really already loving it just off like the wing, y'all. Like it just look so crazy. Like the back end is so transformed now and it looks so amazing. Like it just look crazy. I I'm loving it already. So we are also gonna do, we got the fuser fins that came in. So it's gonna be like, I, I think that's like stuff explanatory. Y'all see it, but fins, diffuser fins, y'all should know what it looks like. So this thing is really about to look insane, y'all. So just smash the like button if you like it already, and then subscribe if you're gonna like it even more when everything get on there tight. You get that box feel heavy? No. Okay, then I think we're good. Yeah. No more frame stuff. 
Looks like maybe side wing lifts. Yeah. Splitter. Mm. It already looked better in the plastic than that one that's on there already. Yeah, flat, flat. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I can't wait, y'all. This thing is about to look so crazy. Hey, y'all, we ordered the fuser pins. They're right there, but this comes with its own on the back. So you see that right there? Those are it. That's heat. We didn't know that. Yeah, that's hard. So this is like a re. I thought these were the diffuser pins the whole time. So those are right there, but this is like a more aggressive on the side type beat. Yeah, so this is the one that comes with it. So it'll kind of look like this. Yeah, that's that. You know, and then this one. Yeah. We, need, that. we need the dong dong, not the beep beep. <laughs> dong dong. Heck yeah. It's like it's bent on it too. Really? Yeah. This is like scraped a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's that low life, you know what I'm saying? You can't really yeah. expect anyone else, you know. Uh, Just gives you a better excuse to get a better one. Bye! <laughs> Look at this. This is like a Stingray bumper. Well, no, it's not because the Stingray has, like, doesn't have this open. It's, like, cut in the middle or something. But I, I know there's these little thin things from Stingray. Though. That, that's what I know. So, anyways, y'all, we got the old splitter off the ugly, nasty one. Now it's time for that new new. <laughs> We got the front splitter on and look at this dude. Like that that's hard, you know what I'm saying? So it do complete the wing though. Like you look at it from this angle, it completes the wing. This just adds like so much more. Like you let it look at it from the front way. Like look at that. What what do y'all think, man? Comment down below and let me know. But this thing literally looks amazing, y'all. Like this front splitter just adds so much more and this the big aggressive one you know what i'm saying we couldn't do no little poo poo one we have to go big aggressive look at this dude look at the side no cap we got the front splitter on last but not least is the diffuser fins but we got to take the back bumper off again for the diffuser fins dude so then we i feel like you took the bumper off so many times already yeah we got it I'll yeah take like 10 minutes now yeah It'll be quick now, but literally the diffuser fins are going to be sweet too. So that is going to complete the whole kit once we get those on. So we did the wing, tail lights, front splitter, and now the diffuser fins. And then this is where it's going to look even harder, y'all. It already look hard now, but just one add, added finishing touch and it's going to look insane. It's going to look like one of those Ferraris on the race track. And the dismantling of the back bumper happens again. So I guess you got to take the tail lights out, right? Or uh, do you just this, this trim? Uh huh. Because there's a bolt to take to unscrew the bumper that's like right here. All right. Yeah. This bumper comes off and stuff. You see, we have to Amir took the wing back off and everything. You know what I'm saying? So that's coming off. We're gonna get some food because I'm starving. I haven't yeah. ate all day. We come back with this, but I think Popeye's better. But we come over here. The back bumper is now off again because I don't know. Is it just me or do I drive an American supercar? where you gotta do all the extra stuff to put something on. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't wanna be the one to say it, but with the red eye and the scat, the diffuser just clipped on and off. This, we gotta cut the butt, well, drill into the bumper to put the fins on. Look how like this is. And y'all y'all know how I am, Saint Squad. Y'all say I need to hit the gym, look at that. Look how, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if I just drive an American supercar or what, but right now we're about to get the diffuser fins in. So then it's going to look Gucci and a Coochie type beat. Amir, like that. I promised y'all and I told y'all the vet bill is going to be like the craziest bill I ever do. I already told y'all that. And look, I'm, so, I'm showing y'all. You could talk. People talk a lot, but people don't really tell you. I'm showing you this. You know what I'm saying? Because look, I just want to say this, y'all. I think it's another supercar. Amir, want to know why? Why? These parts are like freaking 10 times more than anything else. Yep. Just, just the part is literally insane, dude. Like on my scat, I pay like a hundred something for a front splitter. The splitter on this is like eight hundred dollars. Like what the heck? And the diffuser fins are on with the bumper back on. Now we gotta just put 
this back on a little outline thing and then we gotta put the wing back on and then it's gucci and the coochie for real those actually look better than i thought they would too this whole thing is looking better than i thought it would like i i knew it was gonna be insane but not this insane but it is now fully completed and this thing looks insane <laughs> I'll see it right here it is complete and it looks crazy dude we got the front splitter go with the wing in the back I already got a side skirt so we didn't really have to do that look at me I'm rhyming today somebody trying to sign me just let me know and then we got the Lambo tail lights in the back dude and this thing literally looks so transformed so I want to give a huge shout out to next gen speed man what you say yesterday you know next gen speed get what you need you like that that's like sweet that. <laughs> but I want to give a huge shout out to next gen speed because this is literally like a two-day process where we thought it was going to be simple to where it came a chassis mounted wing for some reason I don't know well you know real supercar American supercar stuff you know what I'm saying so it, that just happens and then we got the front splitter and everything. Literally two day process. That's how you know this thing is literally amazing. Like I said, shout out to Next Gen Speed, man. You can get literally anything that you need. Anything. Anything you see on this car, you get on our website. No cap. Anything you saw on the scat, you can get on the website too. Yeah. You like that? Just look how it sits right here. Oh my gosh, dude. Y'all know this thing look amazing. Like, what do y'all think? Comment down below and let me know, but I think this thing literally looks insane. It looks so good, especially like sitting here like this. Like it just looks crazy and the whole look of it just looks different. Like I know y'all like that. Come on, like who don't like that? that? That's hard, dude. So comment down below, let me know what y'all think, but this thing literally looks crazy, man. Like look at this angle. Look at the angle with the splitter and the wing to go with it. Look at this angle right here. I don't know what to say, Saint Squad. I'm real life just like mind blown. Like, it's like one of those childhood dreams where you see a sweet car and you like, I want that, I wonder how they did this. Like, you do a lot of stuff to the car to where it's like, you think it's hard when you was younger, but when you actually do it, it's like more simple like this. I see seven in Michigan right now. Bye. Then this not even the wrap. We don't even have the wrap yet. We don't have the rims yet. We don't have none of that yet, y'all. But it just like this looks literally amazing. Y'all know the wrap is gonna be hard and the rims. We getting custom made rims this time, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be heat. No, you don't even gotta worry. But one more look at it for y'all. One more look and then we're gonna go on the drive. Y'all, I'm literally so happy. Like, look, when I drive, y'all see the wing in the back. That's what I see in the mirror. In the mirror, you see big fat wing. Oh my gosh, wait till other people see it, and I bet you it's gonna be breaking people's necks when they look at it and everything, y'all. Like, I'm so happy with this, man. I just want y'all to comment down below and let me know what you think. And like I always say, shout out to Next Gen Speed. That is where you can literally get anything, man. I'm talking from Camaros to, to the Vet, to the Mopars, to the cha Chargers, Chalis, even the Mustangs, man. You can get literally anything. Come to Next Gen Speed, make sure you say I sent you. You see they install too so you in michigan you can even come from out of michigan they install and they do good because y'all see you man you know i only mess with the best i only mess with family so if they family we all family same squad so it's, it's all gonna work out in the end when did my car crack like that when did it i told you look i hit I got this car at 2,700 miles, right? 20, 2,000 miles or something. I am at 5K miles right now, okay? I think the engine wasn't even ready enough to crack how it just did. Like this thing just cracked like that. And the engine not even warmed up like I showed y'all early, early before, man. How that little marker shows like yellow to red where you can't pass and stuff. Like that, I showed y'all that. The engine not even warmed up and it sounded that good. Like. I ain't heard it. I ain't heard it crack like that. Boom, y'all. This boy looked amazing. So somebody literally, like literally just commented down below under one of my videos 
and said that I should make it a C7R. That that sounds hard. It's not a ZR1, but C7R. So with all this new arrow I have, should I name this the C7R Corvette Man? Comment down below and let me know. But what do y'all think about it? Do y'all like it? Because I love it. Comment down below and let me know. And if you do love it, then go down and smash that like button because that always helps. Then subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'm gonna catch you on the next video because it's super long already. So if you can't wait to see more, just subscribe and turn on post notifications. What y'all think? Let me know. Just one more look for your eyes, man, because I know it looks beautiful and everything. Just one more look for your eyes. Y'all got y'all good enough look? All right, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.